So, hi everybody, welcome to the um, post Richer Life Resilience training um, session today where you're all here so that you can give me your feedback about how your experience has been working with me over the last six weeks um, during the coronavirus lockdown period. So, um, I've integrated this program into um, Unique Results Gym for the members um, and James St. Pierre, who's the owner, founder, personal trainer of Unique Results Personal Development Studio um, based in Chelmsford is here today. So thanks, James, for um, agreeing to do this video and for us, you know, doing this great partnership together um, when we started good God, nearly three months ago now, I think it's been. Um, so how have you found the whole experience um, integrating this mindset stuff into um, the gym for your members? Well, it's always been something that I've been uh, really interested in, obviously, over the years. And I've known you myself uh, for about a decade now as well. And we've done a few bits and pieces together and we've worked together in the past and you've helped me with uh, certain uh, sort of projects and certain challenges I've had over the years. So um, when we st first started speaking at the start of this period um, about doing something together for the members, I knew it was something I, I wanted to do. I was exciting. I was, I was excited about. And, um, and, and I have to say, I probably didn't think it would have taken off as, as much as it did. I, I've been blown away by the amount of uh, members who have taken part every single week and the feedback we've had. Um, so I think it's been a really, really valuable thing that you've done over the last six weeks. And, uh, you know, it's really exceeded all my expectations, really. So it's, it's been fantastic. Excellent. And what about you personally? How? Because you've been on every session. Um, you've been helping me, you know, monitor the online chat in the group and things like that. But ultimately, you've actually been on here yourself doing the sessions, as have the members. So how has that all been for you? Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been great to have that. I think I think for myself and from the feedback I've had from other people as well, it's having that one uh, hour every week that's sort of set aside as part of my my weekly uh, schedule to really uh, focus on myself, to focus on my mindset, to to focus on the coaching elements, um, and also for the for the, the hypnotherapy side, obviously for the for the, the relaxation benefits of that and the work that we did while we were in um, hypnosis. I've, I found it really valuable. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just given me a real structure, but also given me lots of benefits uh, within, within the hypnotherapy. Uh, I've loved the structure whereby every week we've taken a different kind of broad topic, if you like, and, uh, and worked on that. And, um, and, I, and I've loved the consistency of the six sessions and the way we've kind of revisited and reminded ourselves each week of where we've been so um no it's been, it's been a really really positive experience for myself as well and obviously because hypnotherapy is something that you know people often have these um strange weird and wonderful ideas about um prior to us actually kicking off with this we did an interview um where we talked about it all and how um, it can help people achieve their goals. Um, and then we did a Richer Life discovery session as sort of um, an intro for everyone. And up to that point, we were very much focusing on the clinical hypnotherapy aspect of it, the mindset stuff. But how have you found it um, each week? Because it's been reinforced by obviously um, the coaching. So we've done it in two parts, really. The first part is always the high performance coaching element. And then the clincher to really reinforce that in the mind is the um, clinical hypnotherapy. So have you um, enjoyed both elements? Which did you prefer, if any? And what did you feel you got the most benefit from? Um, well, the coaching stuff is, is stuff that I've kind of done a lot of in the past. Uh, but like you say, that the coaching is kind of like the stuff that you're doing consciously. And then when we go into the hypnotherapy, it's kind of really sort of cementing that and making that a lot more powerful by, by then bringing in the subconscious. So I, I really like personal development. I really like coaching. I really like that side of things uh, and always have done. Um, but I think that the, the hypnotherapy side has been really... Um, I wouldn't say surprising for me, but I've really enjoyed that as well because how you kind of structured it, that you had the coaching stuff um, with the same theme and then we reinforced that and then made that more uh, permanent and deep 
through the therapy. So I think both elements doing 50% of each has, has worked brilliantly over the, you know, over the course of each session. Fantastic. And so on a scale of one to 10, where obviously one is the worst and 10 is the best, how would you rate the whole program um, for you overall? Um, I think for me, for me, it's been a 10, you know, I think, I think it's, I've been really impressed with the structure. I've been really impressed mm -hmm. with the professionalism. I've been really impressed with the presentation, all the slides um, and, and, and the work that we've done, you know, the content that you've, that you've done as well. I think it's been a, a really fantastic uh, six week program. Excellent. And do you feel that it's helped you to cope through the coronavirus lockdown? Because obviously, you know, as a business owner, um, you've kind of had to really rethink how your whole business has operated through this period, having to shut your premises, um, turn the gym um, into, you know, working completely virtually, which has been an amazing success. But obviously there's also the kind of um, emotional side of that that you have to deal with as a business owner and you're sort of being the real positive one leading everybody else your team the members through this but how has it kind of helped you do you feel as um, a leader yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's it i think i was coping i was coping with it pretty well anyway so i don't think it's helped me kind of cope with the actual physical lockdown and what we're doing but what i think it has done is helped me be much more productive throughout this period you know and it's helped me really look at um um you know kind of actually doing everything i can do and being as productive as i can and planning for the future and and, and really kind of working on visualization and how i want things to be when we come out of this period so i think it's actually been a really powerful positive um experience for me to to help embed and cement a lot of the things that I was trying to work on but I think the hypnotherapy side of the stuff just feels like it's going to help it stick a lot more you know and um and uh yeah I feel I feel much more positive that that the you know the future is bright and we're going to move out of this and, and be in a, in a much better place at the end of it fantastic so what would um your three words be for you to sum up your biggest take home from the richer life resilience training program if you could give three words just to sum it up. Oh, three words would be difficult. I'd say, I'd say. Oh, go on, I'll let you have a few more. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say one of the things I'd say is the, is the importance of, of, of having a structure whereby you actually do this stuff on a regular basis. And it's not just something that you do every few months, you know, having it in the diary every week and doing it every week has been, has been really, really positive. Um, the relaxation element of it has been has been fantastic for me in the quiet time as well um and i suppose an element of that is discipline you know having that time that you just book out in your diary every week to work on something so the discipline to book that diary out and despite whatever other disruptions or um you know distractions or, or whatever's happening that time in my diary was booked out for the six weeks for that one hour to really work on stuff for myself so i think that was really positive fantastic so um unless there's anything you want to add do you want to um shall i turn things over to you and you can speak to some of your wonderful members and yeah, get their be... feedback <laughs> yeah no that'd be good yeah so that's I, suppose... I guess why we invited them isn't it <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I, suppose, I suppose what would be good uh the, the same kind of things that claire just asked me guys is just it's just to have a have a bit of a think uh but you know for yourselves individually well first of all just to find out if any of you had done any sort of personal development work or coaching or hypnotherapy or that sort of thing in the past before we before we move on well, that would be probably quite good to know so um tamara had you had you done anything like this before no definitely not okay so this was the first experience for you how about you joe um, I've kind of read books and, and done little bits of personal development stuff before. Um, but the one thing that I would, I would say has really come through from this six weeks for me that I didn't know until I started doing this six weeks was I think all the stuff I've done before, I haven't fully believed in it or I've almost felt it was a weakness to be doing it for whatever reason. And coming out from this six weeks, I just, 
I fully believe in it now and, and I don't feel that it's a weakness to be trying to do that kind of thing because I found it so empower, empowering is one of those is the word I would use for this six weeks so I found it really successful in a way previous attempts with other methodologies hasn't worked for me oh that's fantastic yeah because I think I know Claire's mentioned before that people can sometimes see it's not even asking for help but it's working yeah. on stuff for yourself as like a weakness or a sign that there's something wrong with you or you're trying to fix a problem or something yeah. like that when when really it's actually like you say it's actually a really positive thing exactly. that you're trying to improve yourself and it's not saying there's anything wrong with you to begin with or you've got a massive problem it's just it's personal development it's developing yeah. yourself isn't it yeah completely uh, yeah. yeah that's really interesting um how about just you? And I'll just add, add, that's all right. I'll just add to that, Joe, that, you know, it is a sign of great intelligence and strength and it takes a lot for people to, you know, step out of their comfort zone and even to vocalise to others, you know, to be a bit vulnerable and say, you know, I'm doing this, I'm working on that, you yeah. know, but when you do, as you've, as you've done, you know, in our Facebook group, other people have then shared because, you know, you're not alone. Even yeah. though when we have things going on in our mind, it can feel like we're the only one. It's never, ever the case. You know, there's never that perfect world, that perfect person, as I said on today's session. So, you know, you've come so far with this really well done. Yeah. Cool. So, Nikki, how about yourself? Um, so I've had hypnotherapy before. Um, so I knew it's something that I loved, um, sort of like the relaxation part of it. I do tend to go under quite quickly and quite deep so really love that but I think what was different um with this six weeks was the coaching bit before um you know given a sort of task to do for the week and sort of things to keep you focused every day um till you have the next session so I found that really beneficial um and just yeah it was the whole comfort zone thing um on uh, week five just really hit home for me and it was just like a bit of a light bulb moment sort of so yeah it was really good excellent um how about yourself claire um so i've had i've used hypnotherapy before um i used it in a different way for when i gave birth for pain relief many many 25 odd years ago um but then i've gone back to it um over the last few years as i needed some support um, with coping with some situations that I was faced with. Um, and again, so when you originally sort of started to, to say you were going to introduce it, I was really interested and I sort of thought it would be a good time to do something anyway. So when you um, mentioned that um, as part of the unique results um, sort of package, I was really pleased for myself and sort of pleased, you know, because I thought, oh gosh, it's a really good thing to do at this point in time. Um, for me, I loved it and have loved it, um, but it really, I think it was something, I think it was that Joe said, in the word, when um, Claire was asking you about the three words, I said, oh, empowering was the one that sprung to my mind. Um, and it also gave me the power and the insight to realise I do, I needed to go back and sort of finish off some of the stuff um, that I'd done before, which is that so I've moved on to one-to-one -one, um, sessions with Claire. So I think I like, I've liked the routine anyway. I like, like I like your videos in the morning. It's nice. Now, at this point in time, it's been great to have something to give you structure and, like you say, some time to put aside for yourself, um, which possibly wouldn't have done normally, or definitely wouldn't have done normally. Um, yeah, and for me, it's just identified what I need to do. So then, and now I'm getting on with the doing, you know, on a one to one with Claire, so which is again really successful. Yeah, so I think yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, we'll come back to, to to a few bits in a bit, but I'll go around just make sure I've got everyone um on here. So Wendy Bartram. <laughs> right, I can <clears throat> I've n I'm, I've never had uh, coaching before or so uh, personal development. I've done a little bit of hypnotherapy in the past. Um which wasn't really successful, but I knew that the relaxer 
relaxation side of things would be good because that's what I did get from it. Um, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, like you said, James, it's given me an hour a week to just switch off. Um, when we went into COVID, uh, James knows that um, my job is full on anyway and it just went, you know, it was starting to feel as though everything was uncontrollable stress-wise and everything was sort of falling apart a little bit. So I think um, over the weeks, this has helped me to just have a bit of me time, relax, and um, it's, I think it has helped me to feel a little bit more positive and try to get, oh, it's hard to describe, things that are positive while we're in this situation. Does that make sense? Mm. Um, no, it don't. <laughs> no, it does. No, it does. Oh, no. No, no. Imagine yeah, the best sorry, did, yeah. of what we can in mm. the situation we've been in. And obviously, I speak to James on a weekly basis. So I think I was pretty down in the dumps for most weeks until probably three weeks ago. And I think doing this there's certain things that have clicked in my head and I think it's been a, I'm looking at it as a positive thing so I think it's been good really good I really enjoyed today's session as well really enjoyed that fantastic and you posted um the first week didn't you Wendy um straight after the session that you were someone that never ever really shuts off um you're always on the go your mind's busy you said you're an insomniac and you said you really really switched off after just that first session that we did and then you posted the next day saying you'd had a brilliant night's sleep and you felt great so you've really had sort of some fast um success with it in terms of the benefits haven't you yeah definitely I mean that first week I just it was unreal I think it's just given me that opportunity I'm still working but it's given me that opportunity to just switch off even if it's just for an hour to think about things in my head that you've helped me to think about if that make you know yeah and it improved the sleeping the sleeping's not great at the moment that's peaks and troughs but uh yeah it has helped, definitely, definitely. Fantastic. And as I said, you know, sleep is, um, and it improving is a benefit of just going into hypnosis. When someone has issues such as yourself, where it's, you know, a chronic problem, sometimes we do need to dig a bit deeper and do some more one-to-one -one personalized work. But the fact that you had such, you know, an improvement so early on and so quickly, you know, is, is brilliant. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Wendy. And uh, Mr. Dave Roscoe. Um, well, I loved every minute of it, there's no doubt. I loved it. Um, it you know, as I say I'm at an age in my age where I've retired, of course, so I spent 40 years of people trying to put me on improvement courses. You know? I'm not sure how well it worked. And, and they were some of those courses you would do them and you had like this burst of enthusiasm. I thought it's a great idea. Um, and then, and everybody's saying how it's going to change their life. But within about a couple of days, you know, the idea of maintaining a logbook, the idea of doing all the things you're supposed to do to improve your time management or whatever it is they're trying to improve, it just disappeared and you get back to the normal panic. The hard part of process improvement seems to be able to do what you've been doing, James, which is every day, stand up there and say it's lockdown, lockdown day 158 what are we going to get to? <laughs> how you can do that every day i don't know you know and the fact sundays i think you must do two at once so you... <laughs> he just changes his t-shirt to make it look like it's a different I, I, day i'm you know i'm impressed and, and but i say for me i found that the coaching's fine right but I, i'm not looking for too much coaching at the moment um sure like a lot of people i probably struggled finding the three goals that I really want because I'm not trying to make a set a company up I'm not trying to make a million dollars I'm trying to live longer and enjoy life <laughs> um, but it does help and of course when I've done the I did work oh 10 years ago and I had a what surprised me actually a number of people on there they've actually said they've done some of this um, uh, therapy before 
that surprised me because I thought I was the only one in the world that ever done this because I spent I had 12 or more sessions um, mm. with Claire uh, nearly 10 years ago and they really changed my life around so I'm impressed and I, I, um, I would, I, you know, the, the, the um, in fact, uh, when Claire made an offer some years back and said, look, do you want me to do it? Um, she did a DVD for me where she did a session. She had to cheap to charge me for it, but we actually did this. Um, <laughs> so I've got my own personal DV, um, did, um, CD that she did a long time ago. Yeah. And it's really is good. You know, I loved every minute of it. So mm. I've enjoyed it and yeah, and I, 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 I'm a great, great visualizer. Excellent, thanks Dave. So I think um, probably what would be quite good, because obviously I, I spoke quite a lot with, uh, with Claire at the start of the video, but if we, if we go back round um, each of you, and if you can maybe just answer uh, you know, one of the questions which Claire asked me, which which was which would be quite powerful. I know some of you have touched on it already, but maybe somewhere between one and three words that would sum up your experience of the six weeks and your sort of on a scale of of one to ten, kind of how you'd rate the rate the the six weeks that we've done the resilience training program. Um, so so probably sort of. Three words to sum up your experience and how you'd rate it between one and ten. And if, obviously, if you want to add any more depth, then you can do. But just to give us a bit of structure for each of you, that would be really helpful, I think. So if we go back to Tamara. Oh, God, three words. Oh, you've, had, you've, had, you've, had, you've had ages to think about it, Tamara. <laughs> oh, no. Or a, sen or a sentence or two is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not just... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like I said, I haven't done hypnotherapy before, so it was all quite new to me. It was all quite scary. I'd always seen therapy as, like, like Joe said, seeing you feel weak doing it. Um, but as I grew up, I, I started talking to my nan, and she'd done hypnotherapy when she was younger to quit smoking. So I thought, oh, maybe. But I, I never really read into it, but now I just I feel so much calmer than I did at start of um when we went into lockdown um I didn't deal with anything very well I woke up like nine ten o'clock really late and I just I felt absolutely rubbish so but now I'm sort of I'm in a better mindset now excellent Fantastic. cool and on that scale of one to ten if one one was awful and ten was fantastic where would you kind of rate your experience over the last six weeks of doing this program? Uh, probably about an eight, because I think there's, there's still room for improvement, definitely. Oh, that's a sort of a high achievers score, that is. <laughs> <laughs> you, always room for improvement. I like your style. <laughs> and then if we look at maybe, Joe, you obviously touched on a word of empowerment, didn't yeah. you? you but, so what was, you, what was your overall sort of take home from the six weeks do you think so I think um I'm probably a bit similar to what you were saying at the beginning James in that in terms of how my um, stress levels and things have been during this lockdown period um I think I've been quite fortunate I'm quite an introverted person and I like my home comforts and things anyway so to be honest this for me has actually given me a break from all those duties and expectations and things so what I've really used this six weeks for um, the sessions is to try and almost get myself prepared of how to come out of this um, period where I'm going to start being asked to do lots of things again and my stress levels are going to rise because I'm normally not very good at putting myself first in that respect. So this six weeks for me has sort of, it's given me a lot of self-belief and as I touched on earlier when I used to sort of look at this kind of thing as being a weakness and I think it was something Claire said in the session today and she has you've said a few times Claire about turning I should into I won't or I can't and things like that I, I always sort of saw it as um, I want to be doing this kind of thing but I shouldn't because it makes me feel like I'm weak for, for seeking this kind of help and actually I've now turned that into I should be doing this because I want to be doing it and it's working for me and that's not a weakness. So I'm really, 
I'm really excited now to be feeling so much more positive and self-belief coming out of this this sort of lockdown period and and so I think I on a scale of one to ten I'm probably about an eight as well because I've got a little bit of apprehension about coming out of this and being able to put in place some of the things I've been kind of sub I guess trying to train my subconscious with um so mm -hmm. yeah still more work to do and see how it goes but I feel in a much better position to deal with that now, which has been great. So this is this has been fantastic. Excellent. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's a lifelong journey, this personal development stuff. And even when you master the goals you've set yourself now, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to continue to set yourself other goals and things are going to come up in life that are going to make you step out of your comfort zone. And that's when we need to work on ourselves again. So, you know, there's never, ever an end destination. We're continually all works in progress. But you've done great, Joe. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Uh, Nikki, how about yourself? Um, I'd probably say um, relaxed, um, a lot less anxious. I think that's all of this came at a really good time for me. So I just feel going through the six weeks, I feel um, less anxious. Um, and for me, um, I think I sort of feel it's been brilliant. But I think because we were Claire was catering for so many people, I think possibly. Um, I'd need more um, sort of one-to-one -to, -one to sort of deal with sort of specific things that I want to address. But even so, I still feel much better at the end of the six weeks for going through it. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd give it sort of nine out of ten um, just because I think, you know, more sort of specific for my needs would really help as well. Excellent. Fantastic. And that's the case, you know, often, you know, in such a big group it is difficult to cater for everyone but it has you know considering with like 40 odd people it's worked really really well and everybody has you know from the sound of it got stuff out of it but sometimes you know it can trigger stuff in us or you know just highlight the fact that we need to do some more one-to-one -one work or maybe a small group you know yeah. thing whatever feels right to you but there are going to be options to carry on the journey as well going forward you'll be glad to hear yeah <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. It's exactly like um, like anything. If we use like the exercise analogy as well with what we do, you know, if you're in a big group of twenty people in an exercise class, the class isn't really going to be tailored to anyone in, anyone specific. It's got to be general so that everyone can can do it. And then if you work in a smaller group of maybe four or five people, you're going to get more personalization and more one to one attention. And then right the way up to working one to one with someone where the sessions a hundred percent geared around you so it's exactly the same with what with what claire's been doing as well so that draws the same parallels you know um uh claire how about yourself um well i for me to start off with from probably lots of people um faced with the situation it seemed like everything was going out of control and really anxious because we didn't know you know where everything was going and there was you know it's quite frightening um, time and full of uncertainty. So for me, um, it felt like taking back a little bit of control um, of my mind. So uh, for me, in the first instance, I sort of got my mind under control rather than batting around the sessions really. Um, I felt relaxed and calm and then able to process my thoughts a lot um, with clarity, I think. Mm. So it gave me clarity of thought. And then I think we've said empowering um, and enlightening. Really. And for me, it's led me to um, where I needed to be. No, that's fantastic. And like you say, you've you've now you're now working, you know, yeah. one to one and stuff. So you've kind of moved. But you, I know you've you've done many of the sort of the six weeks as well, haven't you? And, and, yeah. and oh, gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, so that's yeah, I, I tend to do it. Um, and I think the thing that I found was, and it was great because I contacted Claire. Was I knew sort of quite early on that I need um, the general wasn't working. And I was going off places that I shouldn't really be going on my own in my head but again it gave me the control and the clarity of thought to identify that and then obviously knowing that I could contact Claire whereas I think if it hadn't I hadn't have had that opportunity 
um, I could have gone, you know, off on a bit of a tangent really during this time yeah. um, of isolation. So um, for me, yeah, it was all, I think it gave me clarity of thought and control over my, um, you know, didn't get out of control, didn't get over anxious mm. um, and put me on the path that I needed to be on. Excellent. No, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Claire. Um, Wendy Bartram. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I would give it a nine out of ten. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm did did you give it a grade, Claire? Sorry. Oh, oh sorry, Claire. Definitely. Sorry, Claire. Go on. For me, for me, definitely ten, um, because. Um, Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, for, for, for what it identified for me in the six week course of 10, and obviously I'm now then moving on to do other stuff mm. with Claire. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. Sorry, I didn't get your score. Thank you. Uh, Wendy, you said nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a nine because um, I think, again, as the girls have said, there's still um, a lot of room there to improve things, but some of the things for me are. Um, things that are going to take a lot longer to improve on um so like you said you know it's a lifelong journey really um but what it has helped me to do is sort of be calmer i don't feel so anxious i was really anxious at the beginning um when it was all blowing up and within my working environment it it felt i was really scared to be fair not for myself but for everybody else and I think in the last few weeks, because I felt anxious and it made me feel down, I think that now there is a better mindset. So that's my three word stroke categories, because I've noticed in the last couple of weeks, I can switch off and think, yeah, I'm going to do my exercise today. Uh, that's got more and more in the last couple of weeks. So I'm really pleased with that because I, I really lost it at the beginning. So, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks, Wendy. That's great. And uh, Dave Roscoe? Well, I'd probably give it, it depends how what we're scoring. If I'm scoring how we're, well Claire did, oh, I can give it 10 out of 10. If, I, if I'm going to score how well I did, maybe it's a lower number. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what I couldn't work out from the, listening to the other, other scores. Um, and words, well, one of the words I've got is surprised, actually, because I, what I do remember when I was working with Claire all that time ago, I sat in the chair and, and I felt as though the whole thing was aimed at me. And what surprised me, although somebody, uh, Claire, the other Claire said something differently, I was surprised. I felt as though the only reason, it was only me and Claire in the room. There was, I had no understanding anybody else was there. So I felt that's what surprised me about it. I felt as though the whole session was aimed at me. Not, not the coaching part, but the um, therapy part afterwards. Mm. And, that, and the other way, if I'm not sure it's the right, it is, it's kind of a thing it's done for me. It boosts my confidence again, which is every now and then it's good because, you know, you think, yes, I can do this and I can, and, and in other words, I'm better than I think I am. You know, whether it's to do with pushing that weights or getting in the front of the queue at Morrison's, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm better now than I was. Um, <laughs> and that is an achievement in this day and age. And I'm probably, um, and I kind of it's made me refocus a little bit on th and think about the things I'm trying to do and visualise them more. You know, so I've I've just loved every minute of it. You know, that's excellent because I know at the beginning you said to me, you know, I'm intrigued to know how this group process is going to work. Bearing in mind, you know, I'd work, you'd work one to one with me before, and you will, you know, you thought maybe it isn't going to go so well especially in light of the number of people on there but you know um it's well, i think you could do it on tv you know you could have like two two twenty thousand people or and they, could, <laughs> if they all sat there with the right mindset they would get as much out of it oh maybe oprah will have me on her show <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh that's great thank you dave that's brilliant so how uh, would you score it dave well, as I said, I scored your job this night as 10 out of 10. Oh, right. Yeah, well, it's only if it. I tried scoring myself, I wasn't quite so sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, I don't know what you think, Claire, but I think we've got quite a lot of um, uh, 
information and quite some really good feedback from the guys. Uh, so is there anything else that you would like to ask them? I know there are other questions, but just bearing in mind, we've, we've uh, you know, been talking for a little while with each of them. But if there's anything else you want to add at the end? Um, just how do, you, how do you feel now it's over? One word. Joe, that's it. <laughs> we'll go through. We'll go through one at a time then. One word to how, how now now it's over, Joe. Apprehensive. Okay. Being able to carry it on. Yeah. Okay. Nikki. Sad. <laughs> Sad. Okay. <laughs> Gonna uh, miss it. Uh, Claire, it's obviously a bit different for you because you're continuing. Yeah. But... I mean, yeah, exactly. So. Um, yeah, I'm I'm continuing the journey, so it doesn't. Yeah, I feel sad. I'm glad that I did the course. Very glad, and looking forward to. Yeah, looking forward to all my next sessions with Claire. Excellent, um, Wendy. Gutted. <laughs> gutted. Okay. That's well, too for gutted. Like we said, there will be some some other bits coming out in the next couple of days about how you can continue doing doing stuff uh, with Claire going forwards. Um, Dave. Well, one word. Yeah. Also, I'm feeling refreshed. I am. Oh, you're feeling refreshed. That's yeah, not excellent. Fantastic. Um, Tamara. Motivated. Motivated. Brilliant. <laughs> That's excellent. And the way I've been flicking across my screen, have I asked everyone, because I don't want to have missed anyone out, but I've got, is that everyone? Have I asked everyone for one word? I uh, know you've missed yourself. Oh, I've missed myself. <laughs> okay, I've missed myself. Um, now that it's over. Yeah, I'd say optimistic. Optimistic, positive. Excellent. Yeah. And and actually, just one last one, a quick one for everybody. Um, would you recommend the Richer Life Resilience Training Program to a friend, family member, someone you work with? Uh, Tamara. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay. Good. Joe. Yes, I've already told my hubby about it. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Nikki. Uh, yes, definitely. Definitely. Claire. Yeah, definitely. 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 Yeah. Excellent. Wendy? Yes, definitely. Dave Roscoe? Definitely, if I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that how you're thinking of Pam, are you? Okay. Well, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I'd say, and I'd say yes myself as well. Cool. If you don't have to pay for it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you everybody for contributing today. It's been really lovely to get to speak to you more on a one-to-one -one basis and actually, you know, find out how the experience has been for you. As we said, there will be some exciting opportunities about how you can continue your journey working with me on the way to a richer life going forwards. And that will be, you know, catering for a various a varying degree of budgets and you know different modalities as um, Nikki touched on because some people need the more personalized approach um, but other people want a more general um, affordable option so watch this space um, but thanks so much for being a part of the program I've really loved working with you and um, if you could just finish James with um, a couple of words just to say how you would sum up the experience for the gym and would you do it again yeah, I mean, I think it's been, it's, it was something that we, we'd never done before. I really wasn't sure how people would respond to it or people would react to it. And like I said, I've been blown away. The fact that, you know, there's been 40 plus people who've been really engaged for the last six weeks. Um, and I think it's given something very, very valuable to the members in this, in this unique time, you know, and I'm, I'm really, really glad that we, that we did it. I'm really glad that we partnered up uh, to run it and, uh, yeah, I think it's been, it's been a huge success. So thank you very much. Fantastic. Well, thanks, guys. I hope to um, see you all again very, very soon. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for taking part in this video today. Um, and I hope to work with you very, very soon and help to continue um, with you on your journey to the way to a richer life. Bye for now. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye